Hey guys, thanks so much for watching another video. My name is Ryan, we're here with Dr. Rick Wong. Um, so we've had a bunch of guitars uh, for Martin come in and they are, well, the cool thing about them is that they're limited edition mm. and they were kind of, I, th I think, kept in the warehouse for a while. So they've never been sold. These are, are new guitars and and they one of like this, that one is the Merle Travis Martin D28M and it's one of 100. Um, and wow. it's amazing. And so is this 70th, 75th anniversary D18. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, <laughs> that's just ground zero as far as, you know, yeah. Beard North Guitars yeah. goes. And uh, it's so, so loud. If you were in the room, you, you would just be yeah. amazed. It just fills the room with its most beautiful tone. My first proper guitar was a Yamaha oh. Dreadnought. Yeah. With mahogany body, spruce top. Yep. Um, and it was, belonged to my dad. And that was the guitar that I, you know, yeah. kind of cut my teeth on. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, listening to this is like, oh, wow, this is, this is, uh, this is home. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. You have, you have a D18. I do have you? a D18. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. And it's just, it's just instant gratification, isn't it? Yeah. To pick it up, strum a chord and... It just becomes a part of you. They just yeah. it's totally so well balanced and 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 beautifully built. So yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, it's it's lovely. It's so loud. It's mm. like finger pick, finger picking is great. Um, strumming is awesome with this. It's just it just projects so well and yeah. and all the notes are so well defined. Mm. And that top actually is really nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's just the classic yeah. spruce top, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Man. Okay, so let's do some specs. So this has a uh, mahogany back and sides, mahogany, mahogany neck. Um, this is a rosewood fingerboard. Uh, it's got Waverly tuners and it's got a spruce top. It's a D18. This yeah. is number 82. Wow. Hmm. Wow, that's the year I was born. Oh, goodness oh, me. Oh, no. <laughs> the guitar gods have spoken yet again. Oh, good, yeah. but it is lovely. I mean, it's. Yeah, it's I, I would hope that you have at least one Martin uh, D18 yeah. in your house. Oh, not a D18, but I, I, um, I do. I have a really great dreadnought built by Australian builder. Ah. Um, but, uh, yeah, but, you know, you've got to have a Martin. I think so. Just one. I think every every person needs one Martin. I've got a triple O oh, Martin, which yeah. I love. It was yeah. built in 1950. Wow! And it's um, it's just it's just a beast of a guitar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this it's is lovely. man, this is so great. It is so nice. And again, these have been sitting in a warehouse somewhere. And yeah. Never been sold. Never been sold. So, the cool thing about these ones is that um, there was an Elvis, there's a Mill Travis, mm. and uh, there is this D18. It's never been sold. You can't get any of these guys new again. You'll no. find them secondhand. No. And we did a, a quick search before. They were going for quite big numbers. Yeah. Um, yeah which absolutely. only shows that these guys keep their value yep. after they're sold, you know, because yeah. usually you buy a secondhand guitar that's yeah, cheaper than, absolutely. than brand new. No, but it's, it's Martin. It's, it's iconic. And again, like most manufacturers in, in the world over the last couple of years, having just an impossible time just catering to their domestic market. So yeah. to have these two here landed in Melbourne, Australia, uh, is such a treat. And, and look at this, folks. I know it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind cool. of, uh, you know, it, it's one cool. of, is it one of 50 or something? It's Oh, really? It's, it's very, very rare. It should say inside, like, um, oh, does it say yeah. one of? Um, it's rare. I know it's rare. It is. Yeah, look, sorry. It's number 66. 
Ooh. of 100 only. Oh, wow. Wow. So there's 100 in the world. 100 in the world. Yeah. It's got this beautiful uh, three-piece uh, maple neck. Oh, flame, flame yeah. maple neck. Yeah, it looks, it, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's funny to look at, you know, you, I guess we're so used to seeing, uh, you know, mahogany down here. Um, but it works well and it's, yeah. it's again, it's loud as heck. So, yeah, I, I would say they've both got uh, um, Adrenax spruce tops, and it just you can just feel the thing vibrating in your arms. Mm. It just it just comes alive, and yeah, it's just it's just so loud. I can't get over how good these two sound. Yeah, they do. They're just instant gratification with with yeah. Martin. They're beautiful guitars. Yeah. Like, look, I think I played Martin's Off the Wall, and they're great. They always are. But yeah, I think these ones just have a little. To me, anyway, they just have a little bit. Yeah, I think so. Special. You know, again, it's seventy fifth anniversary and one of only a hundred. So yeah. yeah, they've they've gone a. Put a bit of extra love into into these. They just, Swap these dots. Yeah. They just so how does this compare to your D18? Oh, look. Um, again, when I picked mine up, you know, I just walked in. I was just browsing, as it were. Picked it up, <laughs> played a chord, and just had that that mixture of uh, power, warmth, and that sort of sparkle. And I was just cooked, and I just said, "Wrap it up, I'll take it." Oh, and, I took wow. it. and I've I've gigged it so often, and um, it's just never ever quit. Yeah. And you can always tell when your sound is good because uh, all the guitar nerds come up after and say, oh, "What's that guitar, man?" <laughs> um, and I just say, "It's a Martin." So you know, need I say more? Yeah. Um, yeah. But gosh, it's again just so beautifully balanced. So, yeah, D18 for me is ground zero of, um, of uh, Dreadnought guitars. And, yeah, this one is uh, really special. And, again, you know, it's a 75th anniversary, number 82. That must mean one of something. Yeah, sure. we think so. Yeah, I'm not... We should find out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We'll, put, we'll put it in, in the um, description box. But, um, yeah, it is lovely. And it's 82, which is, you know, another important year for, for Ryan. So... <laughs> Yes. Well, I, I have to say something about this guitar. <laughs> Look at it. Like, that is a, that's a great guitar. Yeah. And this one just has a really comfortable neck for me, though. Yeah. Just, I think, a bit, way smaller, actually. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is, it's a decent uh, vintage feel. Yeah. It's, got, it's, it's like a, a V, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah.
Oh man. <sighs> I think I. <laughs> uh, I think I'm falling a bit hard for this one. Yeah. This has a really comfortable neck. Let me do some specs. So solid Adirondack spruce top. Um, Madagascar rosewood back and side solid mm -hmm. as well. This yeah. has, like Rick said, it's got a beautiful three-piece flame maple neck. Yeah. Um, it's got a very different headstock. Oh, weird. Look at it. Which is, which is um, it's just taken from that old... I think one of the first electric guitars to have ever been made yeah had this headstock yeah um and you know wow. he's obviously uh yeah had martin put that on his his yeah his martin. but what a beautiful rich tone you would think like having a play maple like a maple neck mm. you know wouldn't be would make it quite bright but yeah not really it's yeah like you said before about that it's incredibly balanced it is big bass yeah yeah just really beautiful and intimate mm. like yeah it is yeah, it you'd is. have a really good time, you know, if you bought something like that, just you know, sitting around playing. I, I think so, but and it's such a, it's a unique piece too. Yeah, oh it is. Gosh, a, yeah, <laughs> I think we both did a double take when it came out of the case. Yeah, like, we did. Yeah. What is that? But, you know, I guess Mel Travers was a was a bit of a rebel, and yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's just reeks of him. It's it's amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's great. Like, um, I. I think come down and have a play and you'll see what we're talking about because yeah. you know they're not well almost all the martins that I've played off the shelf are great there's something about these ones and even that Elvis that you know we did mm. like you and I played um you know there's something about them I'm I'm a big fan of this to yeah. be honest yeah. Uh, yeah absolutely yeah I think Christian just does this for for fun, you're like, you I just so. like, oh, yeah. let me just, hey, can you guys do a demo of this? <laughs> and we end up buying stuff. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon he was that kid with the magnifying glass of the ants. <laughs> and we're the ants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting fried, but getting um, fried, yeah. what a way to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So come come down, folks, and check out these incredibly rare, yeah. um, you know, one-off pieces from, from Martin because... Once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, they got one. This, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I couldn't find a brand new one in a store. Um, most, all of the ones that I looked up when we were trying to get the specs on the guitar were from um, either secondhand places or, or you know, on Reverb. Uh, so here's your chance to yeah. buy a brand new one of these. Absolutely. Um, and and the cool thing is, you get to see ahead of time and see how they've actually. Some of them have actually gone up in value. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you again for watching. My name is Ryan. We're here with Dr. Rick. We're at Music Junction Camberwell. We might play you guys out with a little jam because it's so fun oh, yeah. to do. Yeah, it's crazy yeah. good, isn't it? But thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon. Cheers.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching another video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get all the notifications. We'll see you soon. Bye.